A while back, we got to know Denise Naidu as a dynamic TV presenter and PR entrepreneur, but she did keep a secret from us. Subsequently, we came to hear that Denine has musical talents and that she's been hard at work in the studio recording vocals for her recently released single. We thought it was essential to get an update and Karusha got the assignment. Denine's career crossover may be unexpected, but it's been a long time coming. She grew up with music in the family home and an uncle who's a professional jazz drummer. One evening, while attending a gig featuring the Elvin Dyes Jazz Trio, Denine was called onto the stage to perform an Alicia Keys cover, and she made an instant connection with the mic and the audience. I'm so excited to be hanging out with the uber cool Denine Nadu today, and I can hear some very hot tracks upstairs, so I'm gonna go check it out. I want you to dance like no one's watching. Get up to get down. And I can't wait to see you lose it. And I can't wait to have you. Denine was hard at work putting the finishing touches to some vocal tracks with her producer Nathan Redpath, aka King B. Guys, things are sounding hot in Hi, here. Hi, Denine, how are you? Oh, God, I'm good. And you? Good to see you. Welcome to Mela again. Uh, <laughs> you notice how I do spur fingers now when you welcome me to Mela because I feel like part of the family. You've just released your new single, Rock Me. Tell me, where did the inspiration come for that? It was just really the thing to get myself over myself and say to the world, hey, I want to do music. What do you think about that plan? I think it's amazing. <laughs> okay, so then I think I need to ask Nathan where this inspiration came from and how you ended up with Rock Me. It did start, start with a, a, a meeting, actually, a meeting and then a beat. Uh, I had a couple things lying around and didn't even check some stuff out. And she came back with a cool vocal idea and we kind of moved on from there. And her voice and what she did with something just kind of worked out and everything just clicked really well and we clicked really well. And yeah, it's been a good, a good little journey so far. Why music? I mean, you are no stranger to entertainment, to TV, and now you've gone into music. What was the transition and why? If I'm brutally honest with you, music was always the dream. It was the okay. dream before TV presenting, before PR, um, but I was just really scared. I was a closet case for, what, 29 years of my life. Oh, wow. Um, even though I dabbled in drama and I sang in the choir, yeah. I think when you take it on yourself, it's a very different ball game because you have to be bold and you have to just dare to do the thing. You are vivacious, dynamic, and just so uniquely yourself. And so many people, including myself, look up to you for style. You're making me blush with all these <laughs> Beautiful descriptions, thank you. It's true though. How do you think you've evolved your style over the years? A big statement of my look is always my hair. Yes. So I think I'm gonna introduce you to my eccentric stylist. Yes, I'm so excited, let's go. Zoe. A short drive to Santon brought them to Denine's hair angel, Aryan. So how long have you been doing Denine's hair? I've known this um, sexy girl uh, for about two years. Did you meet her with this eccentric style or are you responsible for it? When I first saw her, she had pink hair. She was doing a show thing in the center that I was at and I saw her walking past and I immediately said to her, you're the mean I do and I follow you on Instagram and I'm gonna start doing your hair. And we hit it off instantaneously. How important is your hairstylist in helping you achieve your personal style? Arian is so incredible at getting me and he definitely achieves the, the look and the vision for my hair every time. Uh, it really does help that he's actually an award-winning stylist and he just recently took uh, home the prize for Twin K Hairstylist of the Year as well. Wow. So I'm in very good hands here. And what I like is that the style is actually quite low maintenance. Yeah. Uh, being that it's shaved, being that it's, you know, just quite edgy as it is, it's pretty get up and go. <laughs> From a blonde mane to a Mohican, Denine doesn't believe in allowing her distinctive styles a long shelf life, and she keeps her social media followers updated on each transformation. All right, so I guess with a new hairdo comes uh, an Instagram story. So this is what's up. A little bit of Marilyn meets a little rock and roll. So as I say, it didn't happen on the grams. It didn't happen. Denine, right? look at that. that. You look beautiful girl, I love it. Thanks girl, thank you. So also say hi to the grand ah, there. It's a story, hey. The gorgeous Karusha. Yes, okay, so actually, <laughs> you don't look this fine and I didn't get all dollied up for nothing. Okay. So if you'll allow me to take you to my next favorite spot, which let's is our go. last stop, let's go. So cute. <laughs> 
by now, the ladies had worked up her thirst, and Deneen knew exactly how to quench it. Half a single. How much? Single shot. Single. Magic potion, right? That is correct. Okay. Double shot. Double shot and. Is this the fun part where I get to shake it all up? This is the fun part. Huh? Uh, 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 what? Shake it. Uh, uh. Okay, I think it's done. <laughs> Yum. Oh, it looks so good. Look at that! <laughs> well done! Look at you, girl! Thanks! I try, I try. Why are we actually here? <laughs> My next venture is opening a niche concept bar. So in order to deliver wow. the wow. best service, I've got to get stuck in and learn the ropes. So I'm putting myself through a complete bartendering course. And this actually was really born out of the fact that I love the adrenaline rush of being behind the bar. It was one of the things that I did as my first job as a teen and it really just stuck with me. Deneen, thank you for such a wonderful day. I had such fun with you today. Absolute pleasure. And cheers to your new venture. I wish you all the best. Mela does too. Cheers to that girl. Thanks and here's to seeing you at the bar. <laughs>